What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you for watching another video. Today I finally got something in the mail that I've been waiting for for about a month now and they're my carbon fiber mirror caps. So I got a little excited and had already opened them but uh, these look super, super nice. This is the theme I'm going to go with on the car. Uh, got my mirror caps in. I have a trunk little spoiler coming in in the next few days as well. Going to be doing a front lip, side skirts, etc. All in carbon. So we're going to install these today. It is a super easy and quick process, so just going to film the process of installing these, and let's get right into it. All right, guys, so the first thing you want to do with the mirror is, okay, you have it set up like this normally, so you're going to want to put the mirror all the way to the inside, like so, so that the edge here is popped out so you can get your fingers under it, and then you're going to want to push the mirror out all the way like that. That's going to be the first step in doing the mirror cap install. All right, guys, so we're going to reach our hand in here and we're going to give it a decent pull. Now, don't forget, this is glass, so it is possible it might break. So just there we go. And it comes out of place like that. There we go. So now we got the mirror out and now we're just going to disconnect these two plugs here. There's a black and blue wire and a black and red wire. The black and blue wire goes to the bottom and then the black and red goes to the top. So we're gonna disconnect those. This one. Just be very gentle because you don't want to break anything because it could cause you some problems. All right guys, so next we have two options. I'm going to be removing this little motor so I have very easy access to be able to move the mirror cap out of the way. You could probably get away with just putting a flathead and pushing the clips up, but I just don't want to break anything, which is why I'm just going to decide to take off the motor, which literally takes another minute of time and it'll prevent me from breaking any clips. So that's what I would recommend is removing the motor right here in the middle and then being able to just pop the mirror cap backwards and off. All right, guys, so we have the motor out and we have the little frame around that you just need to pry up. You could get like a flathead and wrap it up with like tape or if you have a pry tool, you could pop that out. But now you gotta be super careful up here with the side lane assist. There's just a little like tab right here that you push just to pop that out of place so that you don't break any clips on it because then that'll be a pain. So I'm just gonna pop it out right there. Like I said, there's a little clip on the side and now this whole mirror cap should easily pop out with all the tabs. All right, so now we have all the tabs visible, so you should be able to just pop everything off very easily now that all the tabs are exposed, like so, and this will easily now come out, and you're going to want to disconnect the side lane assist right here, and now you have the entire stock mirror cap off the car, and now we can go and put the carbon fiber one on. All right guys, so we have the carbon fiber mirror cap here. Now you wanna be super careful when reinstalling it because you don't want to break any of the clips on it, obviously. So let me put the cable through from the side lane assist. And now we can work with getting the mirror cap back. Be, like I said, be super careful. You don't wanna break any of the tabs. All right guys, so now we have the new mirror cap back in place. We could reconnect the sensor for the side lane assist, like so, and we could pop this right back into place it'll clip in very easily like that now we can put the entire assembly for the motor and the frame all back together into the housing for where the mirror goes so this just pops back in and 
and then this is gonna pop back in too and we can tighten everything up. Right, guys so here we go so the first side is done this looks absolutely fantastic so mirrors all in everything is nice and tight the fitment is actually really really good too so this piece is actually pretty quality I'm not gonna lie I'll put a link to the description uh, where I got these from but uh better do the passenger side the passenger side is the exact same process as the driver side so I'll do that quick all right guys so both sides are done here's the driver side again one more time so this looks absolutely incredible I'm gonna be putting uh, some before and after so you guys can see what it looks like and we got the passenger side right here as well all nice and done so that's gonna wrap it up guys this shouldn't take any more than like 15 to 20 minutes for doing both sides All right, guys, so that's going to conclude the video. Thank you so much for watching. I got those mirror caps from a company called German Auto Accessories. If I'm not mistaken, I'll put a link in the description to where I got it from. But the quality is super nice. The fitment is super good. And uh, I love the way it looks. And to be honest, I didn't know how I was going to feel about the carbon going against the black since it's very hard to contrast carbon with black sometimes. But it still pops a lot and it looks really good. So I'm super happy with the way it came out. Here are my stock ones. The car's a little messy. It has some tools and stuff in here. But here are the stock ones. And thank God with the method that I used used uh, did not break any clips anywhere at all on either side so here is the other side I definitely suggest when you're doing this install to take out the motor uh, take out the little frame where the mirror goes just so you have enough room to push the mirror cap back because you can leave it in if you really want to but you do run the risk of breaking some tabs and then that could become a pain. So I'd rather just take the extra minute and just remove the frame with the motor and then put it right back on rather than break stuff or scrape stuff or you know in the frame of the mirror uh, risk possibly damaging it. So I'd rather just not do that. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. Uh, this looks amazing again. I, I love the way this looks. And I'm going to be installing my little carbon fiber trunk lid spoiler thing that I got from the exact same company. That video is going to be coming in a few days while I put that on. So anyways, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.